no one could have imagined that the year 2020 would have been the knockout punch we didn't see coming. In this video, I'm going to share with you the one scripture that helped me keep my mental health in check. If you want to find out what that scripture is, stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Hope. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. On this channel, I generally post health and wellness tips to hopefully educate, equip, and empower you to make healthy lifestyle changes. So if you're interested in learning more, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So over the last, what, seven months now of this global pandemic, I've had what seems like an endless opportunity to think. I've thought about um, how my children, and I'm sure many of you have, um, would be uh, e-learning, homeschooling, going back to school in this pandemic. I thought about my brick and mortar business, how we'd be able to serve our patients and our community, um, how uh, I'd be able to uh, serve my employees. I thought about the health and wellness of my own family and my extended families, my siblings, my friends, and my thought loop was all over the place. Experts believe that the average person has 60 to 80,000 thoughts per day. That's about 2,500 to 3,300 thoughts per hour. Unfortunately, a lot of, for a lot of us, many of those thoughts are negative thoughts. These thoughts are often self-limiting and non-productive. Wouldn't it just be awesome if the majority of the things that we thought about were positive thoughts that would lead to productivity and gratitude and positive actions? We can't always control the thoughts that come into our minds, but we can control the thoughts that we decide to focus on. I posted a video talking about my theme scripture for the year. Uh, I'll put a link in the comment and th those scriptures that helped me throughout the year, um, scriptures I decide to focus on. When this global pandemic came, I doubled down on those scriptures and I hope you'll take a look um, at that specific video. But another scripture that came to mind like a wrecking ball was Philippians 4 verse 8 and it tells us how we should think. So while we have all these thoughts that are in our minds, all these thoughts that are constantly coming at us, this particular scripture says, finally brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. It's clear. It tells you the things that we should think about. This scripture reminds us that whatever things are true, honest, just, pure, or praiseworthy, those are the things we need to focus on. That's exactly what I had to do to maintain a sound mind on a daily basis. If I found myself thinking about things that would cause me to feel anxious or flustered or um, disappointed or uh, even angry, and I compare the thoughts that I was having with that of what the scripture said, and if it didn't align, I had to redirect my thoughts, reflect on what the scripture said, and replace any negative thoughts with gratitude and praise. So our family has been very deliberate in um, making attempts to uh, remain socially distant and wear a mask when we can't. So one day we were out on a family outing. Uh, we were socially distant from everyone else. We were just with our family having a good time. Um, my daughter, she was a few uh, feet away from us. So unexpectedly, a lady walks up to my daughter and asked her a question. And it seemed almost like it happened in slow motion. She was literally face to face with my daughter. She was not wearing a mask and my daughter was not wearing a mask. Had it not been for this scripture, 
The next 14 day would have been an absolute nightmare filled with worry, fear, wondering when my daughter would start exhibiting, if or when my daughter would start exhibiting symptoms of uh, COVID. I had to take every thought captive, every negative and worrisome thought that I had captive to ensure that I focused on what the scripture said. And it has helped me and my family tremendously. I encourage you to uh, maybe read that scripture again with a fresh eye. Um, it'll definitely uh, refresh your thoughts and help keep things in perspective because we know that there is still a lot of uh, stuff going on and we really just need to focus on those things that are praiseworthy and uh, remember to go through our day with gratitude and thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to ask you to remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, in the uh, comments below, let me know if there are certain things that maybe have been consuming your thoughts lately. And if it is, um, share it. And, and I definitely respond to every comment. And thank you so much for watching. I know my yellow chair, and I, if you haven't watched uh, actually two videos on my yellow chair, uh, please do. Um, I'll post those in the uh, description as well. Uh, me waiting for the chair and me actually the significance of the time that I received the chair. The chair has been great. You know, I'm wearing a yellow, uh, whatever this is, um, just to, to honor my chair because it's been doing a really good job. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see you later.